However, we have got something very, very new and very, very experimental. Now, Stephen James, are you up for doing something very experimental? It What's the name? sounds like you've got some butt plugs in your hand. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Although... Look, luckily, I'm far, en I'm far enough away that, well, unless they're absolutely huge, they're not going to reach my anus. <laughs> you never know, James. You never know. Um, okay, so, yeah, we're going to do something uh, very experimental, although... If James has got a little bit of a cough, I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, uh, so I'm not quite, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to to sort of kick this off, really, other than to say, James, you know why you uh, like to do a few impressions? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you do a few impressions, and um, uh, when, when I'm well, yeah. <laughs> Well, you got no choice. I think you're going to have to give it a go now. We're live. Oh, um, God. Here we so, go. So, we, we know that you can do a few impressions, right? And um, Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the difficulties that you've had at times when doing uh, your impressions is knowing what to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... What me and Steve have decided to do is... <laughs> Don't bring me in. <laughs> <laughs> me and Steve have decided to play a little game, which means that we have put together a little bit of a script for you. Oh, God. Can you, are you sending me it on Messenger? Because I, I won't be able to remember it. You don't have to remember it, right? What I'm going to do, and not yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to you, right? I'm going to send it into right. the I'll Tell You What chat. And yeah, yeah. basically, um, there'll be a name of a character, and you have to read what it says in their voice. Okay? Right, yeah. Now, yeah. I do need to try and explain a little bit, because um, there will be kind of a, a topic uh, of what what's going to happen but I'll, I'll get on to that in a moment but i do need to explain to you that there may be bits of it that'll seem a little bit confusing like we all know you're a massive star wars fan but you might see that it says star trek and you might go oh i bet he means star wars i don't i might mean star trek so you kind of got right. to you kind of got to just go with it and read what is there Okay, now, yeah, yeah. now, you won't need to necessarily tell us who it is that's going to be speaking, because hopefully, if we've done it right, you'll be able to just look at it and go, oh, it's that character, and just say what they want us, what you need to say. So, yeah. are you up for giving this a go? Yeah, I, I've, I've got to say, um, like, the viewers will probably know I've got a bit of a cold, a bit of a cough, yep. so they might not be amazing. <laughs> uh, this might be better in a couple of weeks when I'm better. Don't well, worry, we'll do it again. We we, we may we may have to do it again. Um, but we are going to to give this a go, right? Just to let you know, I am going to send you. Um, I will send you uh, the, the the script, but the first three lines of it is something that I'll say. So I'll basically mm -hmm. kick you off um, and then you've got the first character's name and then you can go from there. Now, for anyone that's listening, James has no idea that we were doing this to him um, mm -hmm. and he also has no idea what it is that he's about to read. So this could either go terribly, terribly wrong or it, it could be quite entertaining i guess we'll just have to wait and see so will will it matter if i know what the movie is because i take it if i know what the movie is who says I'll be it, able to reenact it who says it's who says it's a movie ah oh, i can just i can just tell well let's put it this way there are characters that you know but you've been given um like uh, either a character's on screen name or a character's actual name Okay. Right. But not yeah, all yeah. not all of them are characters. Right, okay. Okay. So, I'm just about to uh, to send this to you. Now, what I don't really want you to do is I don't want you to read it and then do it. I want you to just 
bang, go for it. I have faith in you. <sighs> you, you know I am flexed, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, we'll try it. We'll see. I, I'll probably get some words wrong if I don't coordinate. <laughs> I have a tendency to make words up like... Well, we'll see. We'll how, see, how, see what happens. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, okay, so so like I said, I tell you what, I'll actually, I'm going to send before I send the script. I'm going to send the first few lines, which is what I will say. Okay, right. So don't repeat this bit. I'm just sending this, and then I'll send you your part. Okay. So. That'll give you a little bit of a heads up of what it's going to be. But in a moment, I will say that, and then it will be over to you. <laughs> I hope it's I hope it's water. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Right, here we go. Here we so go. I'm, I'm going to say this bit, actually, and then I'm going to send it to you. Okay. So, folks, this is going to be an absolute shit show. I know it is, but <laughs> I've got to do it. <laughs> so let, let the games begin. So here we go. Story 3, the episode so far. The topic, extras for the next Star Wars movie. Narrated by Davide Valsecchi. Oh, here we go. Oh, bloody hell. Jesus, how big is that? Come on. I... Helium and Viagra <laughs> taken, let's get going. <laughs> All I am here to do is see if Yoda, Samuel Jackson, the Terminator of Friends, can find the new Jedi. Because there's only been one left. <laughs> and why do I sound like I'm from <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, give me a break. Hang on. <laughs> Oh God, this is going to be that's, out now, Mr. Jesus. That, that's not part of the script, but... Okay. Right. Need... Need mud. He's <laughs> <laughs> saying it's like the deepest Yoda ever. Right, here we go. It's like Barry White's flash Yoda. Need... Oh need mud. He's <laughs> 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 more like Arnie, this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh... Actually, I tell you what. Can you do the just just read read out the Valsecchi bit, and I'll get my brain in re, in gear for okay. the script. <laughs> okay. You, you... So <laughs> you want me to read out what Val, what Valsecchi <laughs> yeah, said? Yeah, but just don't do okay. it in your normal voice. Okay. So to recap, then <sighs> this is what Valsecchi said a moment ago. Helium and Viagra taken. Let's get going. All I am here to do is see if Yoda, Samuel L. Jackson, the Terminator and friends can find new Jedis because there's only one left. And why do I sound like I'm forcing out a shit? Need more Jedi, do we? Huh? Auditions we must have. <laughs> uh, I can't do something like that. But I'll just do it in my normal voice. Oh, with a little bit of an American twang. I'll order the motherfucking royals with cheese. I'm starving. The fucking snake ate my dinner. I'm not a snake, but I have got one of my trousers. And I did have sexual relations with that. Oh, no. This is Valter. Okay. Oh, no. Kevin Manson has just come up behind Bill Clinton and seems to be aggressive. I'm, uh, I can't do K Mag. Uh, uh, you do K Mag. I'm no woman. I'm just a blonde with no balls. What do we must have? First audition now come. What the frick? <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> I know he speaks backwards, but that just do not make sense. Come on, carry on. So, Terminator 28, the rise of the 3D printers. I'm ready to audition. <laughs> you do, uh, uh, we'll go out. Yeah, I'll do it else, okay. God, this is literally, you can see how my brains work. It's just like, do, 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 do. it's like a, it is like an old printer. Bloody hell. Right. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I've got mixed up. Here we go. Uh, Valseke. As you might notice, Arnie has no fucking idea what's going on. Hey, fuck you, Arnie. This isn't fucking Terminator. This is Star Trek, goddammit. Oh, shit. I think Sammy J has got hold of my drugs again. I better go and check what... Because this isn't Star Trek. It's Star Wars. Not the Terminator. Wait a moment. I'll be... Mm, don't say back, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did someone say fuck? <laughs> yes, please. Say it back again. <laughs> oh, this is so bad with Nicole. Hang on. <laughs> Now we know why James got turned down for Star Wars, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I can't stop it now. <laughs> you could have put... There's another character in here called Bob Fleming who's just popping in background. Oh, oh dear. Say back again. Say back again. I dare you. I double dare you, mother... Fucker, say back one more goddamn time. Oh, uh, hey, I'm back. Why is Sammy J pointing that gun at me? Hmm. in Valsicky's head there will be. Is that Vicky? <laughs> is that Vicky? <laughs> Has Vicky just oh, come in and said, what the fuck is going God. on with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, dear. Oh, God. <laughs> that was priceless. That was priceless. <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not finished yet. God. Oh. Oh. <coughs> oh. Uh, where am I? Where right, am I? Let me just reset the scene oh quickly. God. Okay, so um, Terminator was almost <laughs> about to say I'll be back, and instead Valsecki said back after being told by Samuel L. Jackson not to say back again. Yoda says a bullet in Valsecki's head there will be, but now the angry Samuel Jackson from Pulp Fiction goes. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by inequities of the selfish and tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. It's not called vengeance. It's called vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Bacon. <laughs> Sir Bacon send you. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my oh. god. <laughs> oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Well, I didn't James. know that we're going to be coming up tonight. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. oh. I'm going to have to go get. A, uh, you're going to have to give me five minutes now. I'm just going to go get some cough syrup. Yeah, Jesus. Cool. I yeah. think. It seems it's games night, Dave. We need to keep track of some points. And I'd give James at least 10 out of 10 for that. Yeah. Okay. I think. I think me. Uh, uh, who wore it? I struggled with <laughs> everybody. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I well, think it was quite hard, actually. I think it was the uh, <laughs> the Terminator Yoda that got me. Well, yeah, the Yoda <laughs> that's had his balls dropped. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, oh, oh priceless. Oh. Well, okay. So as we uh, try and recontain oh. ourselves. Oh, oh making hot lemon, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Um, oh. 
Okay. I think that should have been climax at show. <laughs> no, we've got other. Well, I wouldn't say we've got other stuff planned for that, but. Uh, oh. Oh dear. Oh, that was just absolutely brilliant when Vicky. I could just imagine Vicky sat there watching TV, thinking, "What the fuck is he doing? He told me he was going to be talking about Formula One." Oh dear. Right. Oh, well, James. I think she just saw I was probably having like a midlife crisis in 27. <laughs> you are, don't worry, you are. Okay. Right, James, get your cough syrup taken. Get, yeah. your, get your sweets done. Yeah. Because uh, when you're ready, I reckon we can uh, move on to uh, the, uh, the next thing we're going to do. Oh, yeah. And that is? It's not another game for me, is it? It is! Oh, well, why don't we do a game for Steve? And then because that what, gives me time then. Because what was it that Alan Partridge just said? Uh, oh, don't tell me there's more. Can we just save it? <laughs> no. I don't, think I, could, I don't think my chest can take any more. Seriously, right. guys. Th this uh, part two <laughs> of this next part is much, much easier for you. All right, it's much, uh, here much we go then. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next part, and again, I'm going to send a bit that I'm going to say, James. Right? Mhm. Mm um, and then I will send you uh, the script. So yeah, it, yeah. it was to be continued. And it's going to be continued straight away. And I, I'm sorry, James, if this is hurting your voice, but I, I think it's going to be worth it. it. It is. Okay, so here's the bit that I'm about to say. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Give me one second. Story, story three. Sure, sure. That's not, that, that's not your... <laughs> well... We've gone for that the we've gone for that, the Star Wars theme, you see. We've done yeah, Story exactly. Three. Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking yeah. that were that were my brain. At age six. <laughs> I'm like, why is it saying them? I, I didn't even actually know what the hell the Roman numerals were <laughs> until about five hundred times of watching it, and then I thought, I wonder what that means there, that Roman numeral. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. Story four, the episode before the end of the beginning. Featuring Steve as himself, Dave as himself, and as David Attenborough, and James as everybody else, including sound effects, including teacups by the looks <laughs> of it. So here comes the script. James, over to you. Oh, God, hang on. Oh, God, where does it start? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Uh, hang on, just give me uh, give, give me some filler for like one minute. Uh, I can't believe you're making the filler guy do more filling. Where's the holes in the wall? Is he's, he's having a chance to read the script here? That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not meant to. <laughs> okay, so shall I do my bit again, James? Shall I set you up again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here, here we go then. Story four. The episode before the end of the beginning, featuring Steve as himself, Dave as himself, and as David Attenborough, and James as everybody else, including sound effects. Cool, cool. I'm Alan Partridge, Two Ridge. Aha! Okay, part two. Time? It is... Time it is hmm? for the next audition. James, 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 James fucking Shaw, where are you? You better not be sleeping, motherfucker. Hmm? James? Where are you? Where this are you, James? Aha! David Attenborough has arrived. Here we have 
the gentle beast, who is best known for his unusual goings on with all sorts of wildlife. Now, though, he is resting his weary head. <laughs> It's the word strong. I can't do it without doing like an Austrian. Go, go. With, let's go with the Yoda slash Arnie then. It's it's cool. Let's go Yoda slash Arnie. Come on. The horse is strong. Uh, I, I can't do it. Uh, horse is strong with this one. A new Sith Lord has been found. Darth Snod. His name will be. <laughs> Here now comes the social friend of the sleeping giant to see if he can bring Darth Snord out of hibernation. James, have you really fallen asleep now? James! Dave, I hope you're recording this. Too fucking right I am. When did I fall asleep to your sleep? Right at the end of the podcast last week, mate. <laughs> the end. I did. I don't actually remember ending the podcast last week. Because you did. It <laughs> and then I woke up next day. I'm like, oh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what happened was pretty much exactly what we just said in part two there. Well, hang on there. You've put two fucking right arm in when Steve's asked you if you recorded it. So have you recorded it? I did. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's listen to it. You are so <laughs> you are so fucking lucky, right? And shall I tell you why? You know, at the end of the podcast, when we show the the picture that's... Is, what is Vicky laughing at? It isn't Vicky. It's Claire. Is it Claire? Is it Claire? All right. Fair She's enough. listening to the podcast upstairs. <laughs> fair, fair enough. So we've got James's girlfriend thinking James has gone fucking mental and Steve's wife <laughs> pissing herself. Right, James. You know, at the end of the podcast, right, we show the image that says, uh, yeah. like and subscribe now. Be clear. Clear. He's hearing me. <laughs> Come on. Let's have a laugh together. Come on, clear. <laughs> Come on, do it. Do it now. Do it to me now. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. Right, so, we ended last week's podcast with saying goodbye, and you never said anything. And I put the like, subscribe, and share picture up. And that's where, literally, we were like, James, are you there? And all we heard was <laughs> straight away. And I was, Steve was like, I hope you're fucking recording this. And click, I am, mate. <coughs> but you are so <coughs> lucky because we were pissing ourselves so much at the conversation that we had that I'd left it on the muted picture. So all I recorded oh. was a picture. <laughs> but the thing is, would you like to have a guess at how long we were having a conversation with you for? Oh God! Knowing you and Steve, probably about an hour. It was it was about thirty five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, did you get all out of me? Because I am literally once I'm asleep, there's no way. The thing is, we did because there could the, be a nuclear explosion outside well, the door. The thing and it won't wake me up. The thing is, the David Attenborough bit, right? That we just did. I actually did that, right? So as I, as I read, as I went, here we have the gentle beast who is best known for his unusual goings on with all sorts of wildlife. Now, though, he is resting his weary head. You were deadly silent through the whole of that, and as soon as I snopped, you went. <laughs> <laughs> So we go, we start laughing, and we carry on talking to you, and then you're deadly silent. 
and then there was a big snore. It, it, I, I've got to say, it was one of our best nights that we've ever had, and you were asleep for it. Uh, but it was also my most depressing because when I realised that I hadn't hit the the right image, I didn't capture any of the sound. I was absolutely devastated because I would have played it for you. Um, And for anyone that's listening, thinking, oh, that would have been really cruel. One of the things that me and Steve were doing, we were sat there, weren't we, Steve? We were saying, because you actually said, hmm, well, if anyone gets to watch this and thinks this is a bit mean, it was James that said, you know what we should do, guys? You know, when the podcast finished, we should always record the conversation we have afterwards. Yeah, it's like a bonus feature. Yeah, it would have been a bonus feature. 